So in the contact page, it is really straightforward. It works a mini CRM for all your WhatsApp content with this phone number. So just give you a basic idea. If there is a new incoming message for this number, it will automatically save here with their WhatsApp name and also their WhatsApp number. And for your side, if you would like to add number, first of all, the easiest way, uh, you can upload it by Excel as well. You can download a sample Excel here, follow the format, input their WhatsApp name and WhatsApp number and upload here. You will be able to add their number in bulk. And alternatively, if you would like to add the contact one by one, so let me add a test number, for example. Remember always, always to put the country code in the beginning. So let me add this number, save it. And what you'll be able to see here, first of all, the number will show as valid because we have a um, like, you know, uh, link with the WhatsApp API. So I will be able to check that if this number is a valid WhatsApp account. Because, um, for example, if you have your own database of your customer contact, uh, there will be chance that their number is only a phone number without a WhatsApp account. So um, if they do not have a WhatsApp account, it will show as invalid. Another thing that you can do here as well is labeling. So you can add asterisk to this number. First of all, um, you can choose like allow broadcast or not allow broadcast. So I'm sure that like, you know, some um, countries or some company, they have their privacy policy. If their client would like to unsubscribe from it, you can take not allow broadcast and take it. So they would take out from the broadcast list. You are not able to send them a WhatsApp message anymore. And next thing here will be adding an asterisk. For example, if I would like to add an asterisk, let's say um, city, and it is in Hong Kong, for example, let me save it right here. You can do the same filter with this as well. Just save this. And what you can do here, you can also filter by the attribute. So you can group out the client um, based on what attribute they have. For example, city contains, okay, so Hong Kong. Everyone with the Hong Kong label will show up. And as you can see, I have 14 of this kind of content. You can also just download this 14 content as well. So this is the basic function of the contact page. Um, I hope this is clear of all of you. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact us.